Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our CO2 sequestration model learning. And in previous video, we have shown the visualization of structural trapping. Okay, uh, we run using jam and we do some modification before before running on the jam. We we just do a direct modification on the script. And then after running on the jam, we open the result using visualization, I mean using this result file. Now we go back to Builder and we will add more trapping. To be specific, we will add hysteresis trapping. Okay, so the purpose of this exercise is to add to the structural trapping of the base model by incorporating hysteresis trapping or residual trapping. This trapping method uses the effect of shifting from drainage to imbibition relative permeability curve to trap the non-wetting phase, in this case, the, the gas, the CO2 gas, which actually uh, in exists in supercritical condition. Okay, so here we will add to the base case, and the base case is, of course, this, Exercise one structural dot that we just drag it and drop it on the builder. Okay, all right. So now we are inside the builder. Let's look at our model in three D view. Here you go. Okay, and now first go to input output control, I O control. Okay, and click on title and case here. Case 2A, we change it to case 2A, structural plus hysteresis. Okay, so there will be hysteresis in this model. We shift from drainage, relative permeability curve, Drainage means the non-wetting phase displaces the wetting phase. In this case, the non-wetting phase is, of course, the CO2. It displaces the wetting phase, which is water. And we have change in the relative permeability. That's why, because we have hysteresis here. And the shifting is from drainage okay, to imbibition. In imbibition, the wetting phase displaces the non-wetting phase. In this case, water displaces the CO2. So water will again, the water will displace, water will push the CO2 plumb and will try to occupy the pores back. And when the water imbibe, when the water wants to occupy back the pores, some CO2 will be left behind. Some CO2 will be left behind. That's why we call that residual CO2. The residual CO2 is trapped because of the hysteresis effect. All right, so now we will add hysteresis in the rock fleet section. Hysteresis can be added to the data set by invoking the option in the builder. Okay, before that, we click on OK. Okay, hysteresis can be modeled for capillary pressure curves, for oil, water, or for oil gas, or for relative permeability curves, for gas, or for oil relative permeability. So we go to here, rock fluid section. Okay, we have rock type one here. Okay, rock fluid option we can review just review stones second model okay cancel and then edit rock type we are now inside the rock type one okay here we have rock type properties relative permeability table okay this is our table for water oil and for gas liquid, yeah. Okay. 
okay and then to activate the hysteresis model i mean the hysteresis trapping we select this hysteresis modeling tab and we will enter yeah maximum let's find it maximum residual gas saturation option yeah model hysteresis effect in we should be able to find model hysteresis effect in gas relative permeability should be here when where we will input 0 0.4 so you can see here we cannot so without using this feature in the builder we will just go directly go to the script and we'll do some editing okay so let's go i will just close this one and let's go to the script 